Hello, my name is Mickey Yipe and I'm an RN, Certified Diabetes Educator. I manage Hurley Diabetes Center, which is a part of Hurley Medical Center in Flint, Michigan. What is diabetes? You were diagnosed with diabetes because the level of sugar in your blood was too high. All the foods that you eat turn into sugar and or glucose and that sugar or glucose goes into your bloodstream which goes to all your body cells and organs. When the level of sugar in your blood rises, your pancreas, which is an organ that lies behind your stomach, does many things, but one of the things that it does is release a hormone known as insulin. And the role of insulin is to get the sugar that you've made from the food you've eaten out of the bloodstream and into the cell where it's used for energy. There are two different types of diabetes. 95% of the population have type 2 diabetes. With type 2 diabetes, your body is making insulin, but maybe not enough insulin to meet your body's needs, or the insulin that your body makes doesn't work the way that it should. As a result, the level of sugar in your bloodstream rises. Treatment plans for people with type 2 diabetes include always meal plan and exercise program, and if those don't work, then medication. Usually, a person with type 2 diabetes is overweight and requires an individualized meal plan. With type 1 diabetes, a person's pancreas makes little or no insulin, so insulin is always needed as part of their treatment plan. They also need an individualized meal plan and an activity to balance out their blood sugar levels. Normally, a person with type 1 diabetes presents as thin, are under the age of 30, but as our population gets older, we're seeing more and more type 1 diabetes in older individuals, and there is an autoimmune factor. It's important for you to know the type of diabetes that you have so discuss this with your doctor.